Hello and welcome to my channel. This is my March vlog about time traveling. So I'm going to read a lot of books about time travel. I got really inspired by a book that I read recently. Uh, it's by Gillian McAllister and it's a uh, wrong place, wrong time. So I wanted to read more about this theme. So I found a lot of books and I thought that in March maybe I could do like a lot of vlogging. So I could do a lot of practical stuff around the house while I'm listening to a lot of audiobooks about time traveling and then I could uh, bring you along with me. So we'll see how that goes. Um, it's my first time trying to vlog. So yeah, hopefully it's gonna turn out okay. But I found some books from uh, the library and uh, the first one is um, This is How You Lose the Time War by Amal El Muta and Max Gladstone. I don't know much about it, but I know it's about a red and a blue person and they are in a war and I think they're enemies, but they have a correspondence and I think it's supposed to be quite beautiful and maybe there are a lot of great quotes in here. We'll see. Um, it's not that long and it's nice and fluffy. So uh, yeah, hopefully I'm going to get to uh, this one. And then I have this book. Uh, it's a lot bigger. Uh, it's uh, Kate Atkinson's Life After Life. I have it in Danish, uh, Liv Deliu. And uh, again, I don't know much, but I know it's about a girl who can time travel. And the back says that she's born during a blizzard and she dies before she can take her first breath. Or does she? So it sounds really interesting and I think there's going to be a big mystery in this book. I like that premises. I think I'm going to like this, so yeah. That's the plan to read this one as well. Then I found a uh, Christina Lauren book uh, in the holidays. And I read another book by Christina Lauren and it was uh, The Unhoneymooners. And that was a romance book and it was quite sweet and it was quite funny. I really liked the banter between the two characters. So I'm hoping that this one has similar vibes. I know it's about a woman who relives the same day over and over again and I think it takes place in a train station but yeah we'll have to see. Uh, it's uh, 300 pages something so that's a fine size. Uh, yeah so that was the first physical book that I got. Did I say first? The third physical book that I got. Uh, then I found some audiobooks and the first one is uh, the Time Traveler's Wife, and it's by Audrey Neifinger, I think that's her name. Uh, HBO made a TV show based on this book, and I really liked that show, and it ended on a cliffhanger, and then they boycotted the show. So I really wanted to see if the book can get me some more closure on the story. I think I can see why they maybe boycotted the show, because it could be a little bit problematic. So I think the book maybe could be problematic as well. Um, yeah, but it's about uh, Henry, who is a time traveler. And I think he's like the only one. And uh, he time travels where he meets Claire, but she's a child when she first meet him. I don't know how much the book differs from the uh, TV show, so I have to see. But yeah, that's the first one. Then I found a trilogy by Kalia Reed and it's called uh, The Surviving Trace. Uh, it's a romance trilogy. It sounded a lot like Outlander actually. It's about this woman who travels back in time and then she finds a new husband there I think. Um, so I'll have to see. So I think that's all the books I'm gonna get to in March. Uh, I think I have plenty. Uh, yeah, and then I'm hoping that I can bring you along with me when I'm trying to vlog about these books. Um, yeah, I really have so many things that I wanted to get done around the house, so yeah. So, hello again. Um, this is gonna be the end of the vlog. Yeah, so that was a really weird vlog. Uh, I <laughs> did try to vlog. So I was uh, doing some baking and I was filming while I was baking and I had some other clips. That was, uh really horrible. Um, I can put in some clips that <laughs> it did not look great. Um, I'm like, oh, on the stove. So, uh, yeah. So, 
So I'm just gonna be making some curly flour bread with like a sausage, sausage in it. I'm just gonna do a wrap up now to this time travel vlog. Uh, so I did finish a lot of books. Right now it's the end of March. So I'm gonna finish this time traveling vlog now because I wanted to get to some other books in April. Yeah, so that's what we're doing. Um, so the first book is uh, The Time Traveler's Wife. I listened to that as an audiobook, and it's by Audrey Nathan, I don't know her name, her last name. Um, and this book is about Claire and Henry and their love story. Overall, I enjoyed myself. There's a TV show, an HBO uh, show that they made on this book, but I think it did get cut off because it could be a little bit problematic. And I see why. And I think that the author maybe could have made some other choices. You know, just some slight changes and it would have been so much better. Um, but yeah, it's about Henry and Claire. And Henry is a time traveler. The only one, maybe. And he never knows when he time travels. He can go forth in time and back in time. Usually back in time. And then when he's in his 30s, he suddenly goes back in time to this little girl, Claire. But he had met Claire in his 20s when Claire is an adult as well. So Claire had met Henry in her childhood. That's when it started for her. But Henry met, met Claire the first time when he was 28. So yeah, it's a little bit weird, but it's like, why did Claire had to meet him when she was six years old and he's a 30 something years old man? Like, mm. There's just something weird about that aspect, and I think that's why it's a little bit problematic, but because it could be potential grooming, I suppose, and uh, just, oh, couldn't she just have been older, or, I don't know, just, yeah, it could have been done differently, I think, but overall, I enjoyed myself, I did get some closure to the story, um, I did really love the HBO show still, and I loved the actors in that show, um, but yeah, so it's a bit hard to rank because, yeah, I enjoyed myself, but mm, yeah, I don't know. It, it was a page turner. I really wanted to know what was going to happen and um, it had that grip on you. I think that's really great when a book has that. Uh, so the next series that I read is by Kalia Reed, and it's uh, the Surviving Trace series. It's a trilogy, and um, uh, this is a little snotty. Uh, <laughs> I didn't know, but okay. So if that's not your thing, uh, then don't read this book, this series. <laughs> but overall, again, I really did enjoy myself. Not because it was muddy, but because the story was really, uh, it was really good. And this is also a romance book. It's about Serene, who lives in present day. And then she finds this photograph. And somehow she's time traveling back to 1912. And uh, apparently in 1912 she is um, someone else's wife. And his name is... Um, what was his name again? Etienne. Etienne is his name. Um... And he is a rich man, and um, so she's going to live at this estate. And he thinks that she's her wife because apparently his wife looks exactly the same as Serene. And then she has to figure out how to uh, live a life in 1912. Uh, and it's kind of like an enemies to lovers uh, romance thing. Um, and then she's also trolling back to present day. Yeah, so there's a lot of like back and forth and I think that really made it uh, good. And in this book, you know, with the time traveling theme, she's actually changing time. So she's changing the present day while she's in 1912. Uh, with uh, the time traveler's wife, you can't change the future. Um, so that was like two different aspects to it. Uh, but yeah, that's fine. I liked it. But if you are not into smuttiness, <laughs> yeah, there's a lot of it going on in here. Uh, and it was a bit weird because 
I think the author was like, like trying to do this fancy language when you're back in 1912 and then suddenly she just put in words that were like, uh, I can't say them on YouTube, but that was a bit, well, okay, all right. Yeah, uh, a bit much. So overall, maybe like a four star. I really did enjoy myself though, so I was going through them so fast, so maybe four and a half. Something like that. I think that's my ranking. The next time travel uh, book is uh, Sea of Tranquility by... Who was it again? Emily St. John Mandel. Um, I have heard mixed reviews on this and I didn't include this at first but I needed like a shorter book because I had a few days left in March so I found this one. And I actually did end up end up liking it. In this one you are following a bunch of different uh, characters and um, at first you're a little bit confused as to why because apparently it has zero connection between them but then you gather the pieces together um, and it's a bit weird uh, because it's also about people living on the moon. It also starts in like 1910 I think and then it ends in 2,200 something and then you have stories from a bunch of people in the middle of these two times but yeah I I, en I enjoyed myself and it was quite short so if you're looking for a short audiobook this could be a good pick um, but if you are not into confusing books then you shouldn't read this but I enjoyed it I think maybe a four star it's a little bit difficult to tell you more about the plot because I think I would spoil too much or it's just so hard to tell. Emily St. John also wrote uh, Station in Eleven. Um, maybe I'm gonna read that. It's supposed to be a post apocalyptic <laughs> post apocalyptic That was weird. post apocalyptic Okay, I cannot say it. Anyways, I usually enjoy that theme, uh, particularly in movies. So maybe I wanna do like a vlog where I'm reading those kinds of books. Maybe. Okay, I think that's it for the audiobooks. So that was five audiobooks. That's quite good, right? So let's move on to uh, my physical copies of books. I started with this one. Uh, this is how to, this is how you lose the time wall. Um, and I gave up on it. I, right now I'm just not into books where I have to analyze a lot and think and I only got through the first chapter and I was like this is too much for me I am too tired right now I have a mom brain uh, I just need to pub in a good story you know or read a good story uh, so that was quite a shame I think it's good if you can put yourself up to it but I could not so that was it um, unfortunately, I didn't get to uh, Christina Lawrence in Holidays. I really want to read this book though because I think it is just up my alley. So I'll see if I have time for it uh, later on. But for this time travel vlog, I did not get to it. But I do want to read it in 2024. So that's a goal. Then I am a little bit more than halfway into this uh, chunky book and that's uh, Kate Atkinson's Life After Life and uh, this one is quite good. I do want to address the writing style though because that is not confusing but I saw that the audiobook has gotten so many negative comments and I think that's because of the writing style in this because she is putting so many sentences sentences uh, in there that's not what's happening right now but then it's like oh she said that earlier she is going to say that later it's quite difficult to explain but that makes it so confusing if this would be an audiobook uh, because when you have it on text it's a little bit more clearer and also the setup of it would be too confusing for an audiobook because this is about a girl that grows up in a family and at first you get um, 
a lot of this family life and it takes place in England and it starts with World War One and right now I am in the middle of uh, World War Two, but it's like in that time between and um, she dies a lot and then she goes back and then she has a chance to change the outcome but she doesn't really know that she's traveling back she just get this get this feeling that she has to change something but then every time that she dies she goes back the book goes back to the day that she was born and tells something more about that day and I maybe that there's a point to it in the end but if you're listening to it as an audiobook I you wouldn't know what was going on, I think. Because, yeah, it's just so much clearer on page. Uh, so this is definitely different with the time traveling theme than the other books. Because it's not so clear. And I think you are definitely past the first hundred pages before you know that that's what's going on. Um, but yeah, the story is exciting and... There's uh, many characters in here that has some, um, shall we say, death, 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 death. I'm not, okay, I cannot say that. And you have to analyze a little bit in this book, though. There's so many hints in here to what a person is really thinking about something or, you know, so it's not difficult to analyze it. It's just, um, it's not given to you directly, but yeah. I'm liking it so far, I'm definitely going to finish that. So maybe I'm going to give an update in the next video on how it ended. But good book. Definitely a good book. So that's the end of this video. I am going to practice doing some vlogging. Uh, I have so many projects. I want to do my terrace. I want to paint it. I want to fix a lot of things in my garden. Our garden. Uh, so yeah, I'm going to practice that. You know, I think it's quite great when you watch some TikToks and how they are presenting their work and I think that could be quite funny while I'm listening to some audiobooks because that's what I usually do. We'll see if I have done my research for um, the next video. Yeah, mama here needs some practice. So uh, I hope you're going to have a great day and I'll see you.